2018 Dick Hammer Award recipient has exemplified the attributes of drive, determination, and desire throughout his life in motorcycling. Tom White was a Southern California surfer who started riding motorcycles at the age of 15. He loved to race dirt track and his talent and determination saw him rise in the ranks to the professional expert level. Tom was awarded AMA National No. 80 in flat track competition in the mid-1970s. He was a highly competitive dirt tracker who excelled at half mile and TT racing. To help support his racing, Tom started an aftermarket business, at first on his own, but later he brought in his twin brother Dan, and White Brothers Cycle Specialties was born. An injury curtailed his dirt track career, and Tom poured all his drive and determination into White Brothers, which became one of the top off-road motorcycle accessory companies in the world. With the success of his company, Tom was always eager to give back to the sport, and he sponsored racers all over the country. Some of the greatest riders of all time and lots of riders at the grassroots level wore a White Brothers jersey at some time in their career. When two strokes ruled the motocross tracks of America, White Brothers created the four-stroke world championship. And when older racers had no more worlds to conquer, Tom founded the World Vet Motocross Championships. Among his many accolades as a racer, Tom himself won the World Vet Motocross Senior Championship in 1990. He also created the Edison Die Motocross Lifetime Achievement Award, which recognizes those who have made the largest impact on the growth of motocross in America. Tom started buying and restoring old race bikes while he was still running the show at White Brothers, and as we all know, Tom never did anything halfway. Soon, as he has always admitted, the casual hobby of collecting a vintage bike or two soon became an addiction. He had to build a warehouse on his property in order to house his overflowing collection, and because Tom had an affinity for the history of motocross, he tended to focus on historic motocross bikes. Eventually, the warehouse became the early years of Motocross Museum, which today features more than 200 historic motorcycles and related displays. Tom used the museum as a mechanism for charitable giving, with the museum's annual Bikes and Burgers charity events drawing enthusiasts from all over the globe. Through the years, events at the museum have raised hundreds of thousands for the High Hopes Head Injury Program and other charities. When Tom sold White Brothers in 2000, the company listed more than 30,000 products and had more than 150 employees. Over the years, they'd sponsored hundreds of racers and multiple events and series and helped many more get started in the motorcycle industry. You'd think Tom had earned the right to take it easy. Think again. Tom White was the busiest retiree in motorcycling. He served on the board of directors and as vice president of the Trailblazers and was also a board member of the American Motorcycle Heritage Foundation. He was inducted into the Trailblazers Hall of Fame as well as the AMA Hall of Fame. He wrote articles for motorcycle magazines about the history of the sport and many of the significant machines in the museum. Tom also raced almost every weekend when he was free at the REM track in Glen Helen. Tom became an outstanding announcer, and his knowledge and enthusiasm came through the microphone at MX tracks and off-road races around the country. For many years, he was the announcer of AMA Vintage Motorcycle Days. He continued to collect and restore vintage bikes for the museum, which eventually spread into his house and other buildings on Tom's property. As busy as he kept himself, Tom always remained a devoted family man and loving husband to his wife, Danny, and doting father to daughter Kristen and sons Bradley and Michael. Then in 2017, Tom had some stomach pains. It was bad news, Tom didn't have much time left. And while some would have felt sorry for themselves and lay in bed, Tom wanted to live as he always had, full throttle. In his final days, Tom raced and announced motocross events at Glen Helen between his chemotherapy treatments while twisting the throttle on his street bike to the Trailblazers board meetings. And he got back to dirt track riding with his new Indian 750 FTR around the half mile Grand National at Paris. Whenever Tom went anywhere, he walked like he was in a hurry or late. 
but he wasn't. He was just enthusiastic about whatever he was doing next. And when the doctors gave him the white flag on life, he charged and shared that enthusiasm all the way to the end. There is a monument to Tom at Glen Helen. It reads, non-stop, which pretty well sums up Tom's outlook. The checkered flag waved for Tom for the final time at age 68 after a battle with cancer on Thursday, November 2nd, 2017. He was surrounded by his wife and children in a room that also housed several of his favorite motorcycles. A non-stop drive, determination, and desire, and a lifetime love for motorcycling and his family only begin to describe Tom White. The Trailblazers are honored to award the 2018 Dick Hammer Award to Tom White.